Okay, so I decided to make this video this morning because I am just starting out. I have very few uh, followers on YouTube. Um, I'm just now starting to get a steady amount of new followers on my other social media platforms. But um, anyway, I'm reading this from my blog because I want to try and start really getting my blog out there. Um, this one is kind of like a history, a little mini history lesson for millennials especially, but really just anybody who seems to be misinformed by using and tolerating being called an Uncle Tom. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and read. It says, I'm sure everyone is up to date with the latest political hypocrisy from the left against Kanye. Let me start by saying I've never been a fan of him. He's been completely batshit crazy since the very beginning, so why is it all of a sudden such a problem? The latest favorite any person of color who dare think for themselves in leaving the victim mentality is Uncle Tom. I'm going to educate some of you on just how stupid that is. Uncle Tom originated from a book called Uncle Tom's Cabin by Harriet Beecher Stowe. In the book, Tom was a slave who planned to take his family and escape to Canada. After the family he was working with for had died, he was sold to a horrible man named Legree who went through slaves like there was no tomorrow. The abuse Tom faced was unimaginable all in hopes he would break from his religious belief and harden his soft character. Luckily, he wasn't having that. Legree ended up beating him to death after Tom helped two slave women escape from forced prostitution. He died two days shy of being emancipated or freed. Miss Stowe wrote this book because of her own hatred towards slavery. Her book is based off a book written by a slave named Josiah Jensen, The Life of Josiah Jensen. Jensen was enslaved at birth in 1789. He became a Christian at the age of 18 and began preaching. He attempted to buy his freedom for $450, selling all of his belongings to try to raise the funds. He raised $350 and signed a promissory note for the remainder because the owner raised the value to around $1,000. Henson couldn't prove the original amount agreed upon, so he was to be sent to New Orleans, Louisiana. He considered killing all the white men he, so he could escape, but decided not to due to his religious convictions. You know, thou shalt not kill. <laughs> A close friend of his in Kentucky fell ill, so he took advantage of the opportunity, escaped to Canada, and reunited with his loved ones. After reading this book and the Fugitive Slave Act of 1850 was enacted, she decided enough is enough and wrote her book. In case you weren't aware of what the Fugitive Slave Act was, I put this in. It's um, an act that was put in heavy fines for police officers or law enforcement in the North if they refused to return escaped slaves, African Americans, African Americans, I'm sorry, stripped of rights to jury trial or to testify on their own behalf, even if legally free, when someone presented proof of previous ownership, and also a $1,000 fine for assisting or hiding slaves. This is information I found from Wikipedia. Anyway, by definition, Uncle Tom is someone accepting slavery as just how things worked, whether acceptance is of free will or coerced. Someone who's subservient or betray their own group by participating in its own oppression. So, my thing, I had to make this blog, is this question right here. How is Uncle Tom an insult? He was the hero in the book, not a traitor. A traitor, <laughs> sorry, can't talk this morning. It's not a traitor or a betrayer to his people. Point to this blog is, read the books. Stop blindly following fake media and lies without doing your own research. Otherwise, this kind of shit happens. Mm -hmm. We need to come together. Ugh, fucking people on social media.